What if I told you you can correct log footage without the use of a LUT? What if I also told you that you can get better results doing it yourself? My name is John of RatStrapMedia.com and today I show you how to correct log footage without the use of a LUT. What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. My name is John. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell to get instant notifications when I upload new content. Today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to correct log footage without using any type of conversion LUT. Spoiler, it's much easier than you think. For the longest time I've been messing with correction LUTs and I can never ever seem to just get the results that I'm looking for. It's always way too oversaturated, too fake looking, I guess. I've bought so many correction LUTs and I can just never get it to look right. You know, I've wasted a ton of money on this. So why don't we jump right into Final Cut Pro and I'll show you exactly my workflow on how I correct log footage. All right, so here we are inside of Final Cut. Um, I have these four clips here that we're gonna do. The rest of this is just the remainder of this video. But what you're gonna wanna do is click this little view here and click video scopes if they're not open already. But when you click that, you can open up your video scopes so you're gonna wanna get this one, the RGB overlay. So you're gonna want your waveform with RGB overlay selected. The reason you want RGB overlay selected is because you can see here, see those little colors? That's gonna be red, green, blue, and that's gonna help you with setting your white balance. Generally, I try and set my white balance as perfect as I can in camera, but it doesn't always work out that way. So let's start with this clip here. Now this clip is just like, it's just a stationary clip. I was recording this at 1080, 60, trying to get this flag to blow in the wind so I could slow it down, but it never actually ended up blowing. Um, the first thing we can do here is go to balance color. Now I know it changed it, but it's cause it's set to automatic. So you can go to white balance and that sets it back. So we found something white here so we can click that and that pretty much sets our white balance. And then you just click the eyedropper again to get off of it. So now the first thing, now that our white balance is sort of set, we're going to go to here, here's your color panel and you're going to want to get the color wheels up. These are going to be your friend. You have your global here, which is basically just your entire exposure of the whole clip. You're going to want to bring your highlights up to this line, which is 100, not all the way. Okay. Just a little, little under it. And then your shadows all the way down to the bottom line, just above it, which is zero. So if I turn these off, you can already see it's making a little bit of a difference there. Now what's really going to make a difference is pulling your midtones down or up, I guess, if depending on the type of footage you have, that's going to give it more of that filmic look. Now remember, you're not really grading this. You're just kind of setting it to look somewhat natural. Okay. Now you have two options here for saturation. You can pull all of your saturation up on the global panel or individually. Doing it individually is what's really going to make it shine. So like, obviously you can do too much. So you're going to find most of your saturation in your highlights and your midtones is where you're going to be saturating the most. All right. So let's do a before and after here. So here is before here's after. So it's correctly exposed and it's correctly colored. Now, if you do have to manually set your white balance, you would use these little areas here and like line up. See how everything's moving? You find like the happy medium there. But yeah, that would be that clip done. So that would be ready for grading. Let's move on to this next clip here, which is the same vehicle, just on a dark side of it. All right, so again, let's go to balance color. Back to here, hit the white balance. We're going to white balance on the Chernobyl. Bring our highlights up. Shadows down. I think this globally has to come up a bit. Yeah, so I might have underexposed this shot actually, which isn't really a big deal. I can get rid of any noise. I don't even know if that is noise. That might just be the pavement, but you get the idea. So. We'll bring in some highlights, saturation here, mid-tone, and the shadows. I'm not too worried about 
these colors clipping down here and stuff. You could fix that later on in the grading process, but let's get this one done here. So we have this 240 here, it's pretty well exposed to begin with. So I'm gonna set the white balance myself on this one. So I'm gonna line these colors up. There, so now see how I lined them all up and they're all, it's all white across the board now. See the difference there? It's very nice and warm. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is that, pull that down there, the shadows, and midtones can come up a bit, I think. Pull our shadows down a little more. And boom, there we are. Now let's bring up the highlight saturation. Midtone saturation and a bit of our shadow. Here's before and after. Before and after. Now let's do one last clip here. This is an actual clip of the Chernobyl guy drifting his car. So let's do an auto white balance on this. Get back to our effects. Go to white balance and let's see. All right, cool. Highlights. Shadows. And midtones. Highlight saturation, we'll bring that up. Midtone saturation. And shadow. Alright, so that looks okay. So now we can watch that through, make sure everything looks good. Right now, all we're doing is making it look natural. We're not grading, we're not doing anything like that. There's a difference between color correcting and color grading. Color correcting is getting your footage ready color-wise to be graded to have that final look. So right now, like I just went through all of this, I went through all of these four clips, now I got them ready to add a final look. If you want to see a video of me performing a color grade, comment down below and like this video and I will make a video on how I grade footage. And that is just how easy it is to actually correct log footage without any type of LUT. It looks better, it looks more natural, plus you have total control out of how you actually want it to look. That's all I have for today's video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to get to them. My name is John from RatchetTrapMedia.com. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.